If you know though, make back road the capital for Portmore. I am not spending no more money in that parish. All of the information they are making this evening news, a policeman reportedly died suddenly while on duty. A businessman reportedly charged in a shooting death of a cabbie he reportedly mistakenly took for a robber. A St. Elizabeth man reportedly fined trapped to death. Double murder reported in the area of Coronation Market in downtown Kingston. Joint police and military team reportedly arrested eight men during a target operation in the area of Old Arbor Road. So welcome to the Sky TV, my new viewers. How are you doing, my subscribing family? Definitely feel free to drop a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video so it can be promoted to more law-abiding citizens right across the beautiful country and the world itself. People, I'm here the viral boss. I may always bring all of the latest information come right here foot. But first and foremost, let me say a pleasant day to you all. And I hope you guys and girls have a productive evening in spite of everything that is reportedly taking place. So people, the channel I always tell you how it really go. Listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about a big businessman that reportedly can't a cabby he reportedly mistakenly took for a robber right this song. st mary jamaica a businessman has been charged in relation to the shooting death of a taxi operator he accused of attempting to rob his hardware store in stewart town st mary last month selwyn johnson 62 was charged late last week with the murder of 34 year old marlando henry a resident of port maria st mary Johnson was also slapped with two counts of shooting with intent arising from the same incident that occurred on January 15. Reports are that Henry went to the hardware store to collect several items when Johnson accused him of being a robber. The businessman then used his licensed firearm to allegedly shoot Henry several times, including in the back. Sometime during the incident, it is also alleged that Johnson used his weapon to shoot at a motor car parked in front of his business establishment. The driver of the vehicle sped away from the premises with a passenger, and both escaped unharmed. The businessman had reportedly suspected them to also be robbers, police sources indicated. Meanwhile, the police were summoned to the hardware where Henry was found suffering from multiple gunshot wounds. He was assisted to hospital where he was receiving treatment. Before his death days later, Henry gave a full statement to the police, explaining his side of the events on the day he was allegedly shot by the businessman. Based on investigations, lawmen detained Johnson, who was subsequently charged last Thursday, sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family, this is my input from the whole entire situation. Me think the businessman is a no-gooder. Let me know your input from the whole entire situation. Listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about a St. Elizabeth man that reportedly fined chopped to death. A man who was out on bail on several charges was found chopped to death last night at his house in Arlington, St. Elizabeth. A friend discovered the body of 26-year-old John Oy Johnson about 9.30 p.m. The St. Elizabeth police said Mr. Johnson had a case of murder before the Westmoreland Circuit Court. He was also charged with illegal possession of a firearm, robbery with aggravation and rape. Sending you back over to the viral boss. So welcome or welcome back. Definitely know so any and every information report to the pop up on social media surrounding the topic as soon as police and going thorough investigation. Definitely know so me at the viral boss to make you know how it really go. So people listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about a double murder that reportedly take place in the area of Coronation Market in downtown Kingston right this so. The major investigation division, MID, is investigating the circumstances surrounding the shooting death of two men at Coronation Market on Darling Street in Kingston on Saturday, February 5th. Dead are 50-year-old Carlton Armstrong, a shopkeeper of Bond Street, Kingston 14, and 21-year-old Orlando Turner of Freeman's Hall in Albert Town, Trelawney. Reports from the police are that about 12.30 a.m., both men were inside a business establishment in the market when they were pounced upon by a group of armed men. The men opened gunfire at Armstrong and Turner, hitting them in the upper body before escaping from the scene. The injured men were taken to hospital, where they were both pronounced dead. Investigations are ongoing into the incident. And in St. Catherine, 44-year-old Nicola Sidilov, Cheesefield District, Linstead in the parish, was found dead in her community on Saturday, February 5th. Reports from the Linstead police are that about 9 a.m., residents stumbled upon Siddle's body on a roadway and summoned law enforcers. On their arrival, the woman was seen lying face down with what appeared to be stab wounds to her upper body. She was transported to hospital, where she was pronounced dead. 
Investigations also continue into that development. Subscribe because we make your life easier sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family definitely make it your best interest to drop a comment down below. And you see if you're new, subscribe and be a part of my nice clean family right here. So me that really appreciate that. And if you want to contribute to the channel in like, any way at all, you can see the PayPal link in about. So people listen to what Alex reportedly have to say about giant police and military reportedly arrest eight man during a target operation in the area of Old Arbor. People on office stay for the info ya. A joint police-slash-military team arrested eight men during a targeted operation on Old Harbor Road in St. Catherine on Monday, February 7. Reports are that between the hours of 5 a.m. and 8.30 a.m., a team of police and military personnel entered a premises where they uncovered an illegal bottling operation with counterfeit liquor. The team discovered hundreds of bottles, labels of popular local liquor brands, a bottling machine and several cases of raw material. Eight men who were found at the premises were taken into custody. The team also seized approximately JMD $280,000 in cash. As the investigations continue, citizens are being warned to take precautions and examine the labels of packages when making purchases. Sending you back over to the viral boss. Some wonderful viewers and my nice clean subscribing family, this is my input from the whole entire situation. A whole heap of time Jamaican people know that the product fake and yet still them still buy the item from the man them and sell it back because they want to make a thing. But you must stop doing it because it's illegal and you can endanger other people's life right there. So because we don't even know what in them back there and yet still we buy. So people, right now we have to change the topic. So people, listen to what is really taking place with a policeman that reportedly suddenly died while on duty. The Jamaica Constabulary Force, JCF, is in mourning following the death of a policeman who died suddenly while on duty in Papine, St. Andrew on Saturday. The police report that Inspector Rupert Harper was reportedly on duty managing a dispute in the area when he fell ill and collapsed. Harper was serving the Detention and Courts Division at the time of his passing. He had served the division for seven years, after being transferred there from the St. Andrew South Division in 2013. He also served the Mobile Reserve Division and the Band Division. The JCF says Harper is remembered as an upbeat, optimistic individual who fiercely defended the well-being of those who worked under his command. He is survived by his wife and three children. Personnel from the Chaplaincy Services Branch and the Community Safety and Security Branch have been working with Harper's family and colleagues as they go through this difficult time. Sending you back over to the viral boss.